Hey guys, welcome to another tierless video ranking the power levels of characters. And today we're going to be looking back at The Walking Dead yet again with Season 3. Now, I know a lot of these characters you probably don't fucking remember or recognize. And if you do, you probably don't remember their names. But we're going to go ahead and start with someone we do know. Alright, we're going to start with our boy Tyrese. Now, what is Tyrese? What is his power level, you might ask? Well, I would say that he is... He's very useful. He's a very strong individual. He, he likes to use a hammer. That's his weapon of choice. Uh, he can be very brutal, very strong, take out zombies. I wouldn't call him a true survivor. Uh, at least not yet. He did wander around the woods for a long time with a group of uh, not so useful people. So he's, he's pretty good. I'll put him in like top tier useful right now. Okay. Uh, next we'll go with the sister. At this point, she's average. You know, I don't know if she's got her sniper abilities yet. Um, she, this is her introduction. She doesn't really do a whole lot. She sits on guard at Woodbury a little bit from what I remember. Um, actually, yeah, I remember her sniping. No, wait, was that Andrea? Andrea was the sniper. Or they were both sniping. Um, at this point, I'm just going to put her at average because... You don't see a whole lot of her yet. Um, who else? Who else? Oh yeah, this guy, uh, Alan. I just know his name because I had to look up all these characters. But yeah, this is Alan. He um, almost decent. Let's go with almost decent because he doesn't really do shit. He's on the governor squad. At some point, he he arrives with Tyrese. He's part of Tyrese's group. Him and his son. I'm just gonna put his son in dead weight because he don't do shit except get shot. Uh, he's the reason why the governor lives so long. He like, gets in front of Merle's shot, gets his head blown off. I just saw that clip a few days ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, this guy he could have killed the governor. Uh, he could have killed the governor too, uh, but he's too much of a pussy. He got his head blown out. So yeah, Tyrese's group ranked. There it is. Uh, let's go with. The main group now starting with Rick. Now Rick at this point, I would put him in true survivor if it wasn't for the fact that Lori died and he went completely crazy and ape shit for most of the season. So I'm still gonna put him at useful. He's very useful. I'm just gonna put him behind Tyrese because Tyrese isn't really crazy. So if it wasn't for the crazy thing, Rick would be a true survivor, don't get me wrong, but uh, we're not there yet. Next we got Maggie, she's pretty useful, um, farmer, farmer daughter, she's getting better, she took on a uh, armored zombie, armored police zombie, she took it out pretty quickly, um, she had a little bit of trouble, but we're not going to hold that too much against her, yeah, useful, useful, Carl, eh, he's... Listen, he's not dead away anymore. Okay, he, he knows how to use a gun. He can shoot zombies. You know, he can use the fleshlight silencer. Alright, yeah, useful. Or almost decent, almost decent. He did kill an innocent kid, which isn't too bad in this world. I mean, the dude was on the enemy lines or whatever. Yeah, we're going to keep him almost decent. Merle is... Now, we don't really learn about it too much. Is Merle a tracker just like Daryl? Is he good in the wilderness alone? Honestly, Merle cut his own fucking hand off and survived on top of a rooftop in Atlanta, surrounded by zombies, and he's a fucking, he's like the general of the governor's army, kind of, just one of his guys. Uh, one of his top right guys, so he's a true survivor, honestly. He doesn't have both hands, but he's got a fucking sword for a hand, so... That's, that's pretty good. Pretty good shit. Um, Governor, listen. He's um, he's the bad guy, but he would be useful, I guess. I mean, he's very smart. Uh, he's a little crazy, just like Rick. He, I don't think... I mean, he did survive on his own for a while in Season 4. So he, he knows how to survive. For the fact that he's crazy, keeps his daughter locked up, as a zombie and feeds her and shit and 
Yeah, I guess he gets his eye fucking cut out, so that lowers his value a little bit. He doesn't have good hand-eye coordination or depth perception or shit. Yeah, we're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep him right here, right there. Uh, Daryl, as always, true survivor. He can be on his own. He's like, he is the backbone of the group. I mean, without him, I don't know how they get most of their food and shit. So, uh, yeah, keep him there. Andrea, she's a good shot. Um, she could have been a lot more useful if she had killed the governor and shit. She was just, like, sucking his dick. So, what did she do? Did she do anything good? She almost got away and got to Rick. That's something. I think she teaches Sasha. I might be wrong. It's been a while, boys. It's been a while. Uh, did she teach... Did she teach Sasha how to shoot? I'm gonna put her at the end of useful because she is a, a good shot. She's a sniper. She's just a little stupid. Michonne is true survivor. Uh, is she, okay, so Daryl's going to go in front of Merle. Um, Michonne. She's not exactly a tracker or anything, but she's badass as fuck. She survives on her own. She survived for like eight months alone or something like that with zombies she figured out the zombie trick where she just kept them on chains pretty badass she's gonna go above Merle. all right right there now i know if you look at these videos daryl's usually at the top it's not because he's my favorite character or anything it's just it's, it's honest man he's a true survivor he was the last man standing to be honest he survives longer than everybody on this list at least he's the last person on the main show i mean you know fucking cross Rick out, but yeah, Daryl, um, Lori, she died, she was pregnant, she is, uh, the fact that she's all pregnant and shit, she fucked up, she fucked up early on, uh, she's kind of dead weight to be honest, she literally she ends up becoming dead weight, and she's the whole reason Rick goes crazy. But she can shoot. I mean, I remember that one scene when the zombies come flooding and she's got a pistol. She shoot. I don't know if she hits any. Okay, yeah, she is dead weight. What am I kidding? Um, Beth. Did she do anything? Did she do anything this season? She takes care of the baby. I mean, you always gotta have that one lady in the back taking care of babies and shit. That one girl in the back taking care of babies, so. Um... Yeah, dead weight. She's above Lori. She's not pregnant, so that's good. Honestly, this guy? Fuck. This guy right here. He was shooting guns. He was on the governor's line. He survived out in the wilderness with Tyrese and them for a while. Probably better than Lori. So, um, okay. So next up, we got Carol. Carol's a little bit better. I mean, she's almost decent. Better than Carl. Better than this guy. Carol is almost decent this time. She's, she's going up. She's climbing up the ladder, boys. She'll get there. Uh, she shoots some zombies. I remember her in a watchtower. She, she almost shoots Rick. Uh, but hey, she's she's getting better. Doing that shit. Uh, Glenn is useful as always. Is he a true survivor, though, at this point? He's almost there. I'm going to put him right before Maggie, right after Rick. I feel like that's a good spot. Okay, Tyrese. Where would Tyrese actually go? We don't see a whole lot of him this season. But he he survived a while and he didn't have a whole whole big group with him. All he had was a hammer. He didn't even have guns and he survived that much. So would he be better or worse than these guys? Ooh, that's a hard decision. Hard decision, but I'm gonna put him right here. Nope, no 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 no. T-Dog, oh man, I love T-Dog, man, it's also his final season, he, uh, he sacrificed himself, he, uh, he saved Carol, he had a whole episode pretty much dedicated to himself, the same episode him and Lori died was his episode, it sucks to put him average, but that's all we really see from T-Dog, he gets, he's peak average, 
Uh, Herschel is smart. He's good to have. He's a farmer. He's, he has uh, he was a vet. He can do medical shit. Um, he's average. Or I mean, he would be useful. I think he's more useful than the governor. Maggie knows almost as much as he does, and she's younger and has more energy and she can do stuff. I don't think we ever see Herschel really shoot a gun except for that one time in season two where he had a shotgun blasting zombies at the end, but I don't think we ever see him actually shoot. So he only has one leg this season, so keep that in mind too. He's useful, you just gotta protect him. Alright, that's all the main group and all of Tyrese's group. Let's let's go on to the prisoner group. Actually, let's do this. this. We already got governor up here, so let's do the governor of Woodbury group. This guy, Martinez. Yeah, Martinez. He had the Uzi. He shot a grenade launcher. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's he's a good soldier. He's useful. He's useful. Um, I mean, the governor ends up beating the shit out of him. He kills him in season four, but we're not there yet. Uh, Caesar, you're average. You're probably above T-Dog, to be honest. Sorry, T-Dog. Um, Milton, he's smart too. Medic, he's kind of useless in any other way. But in the zombie apocalypse, knowledge is very good to have. You got combat skills and you got knowledge skills. And knowledge can get you pretty far. I'm going to have to put him in average. Average, probably at the end of average. You know... He's smart. He uh, didn't really do too much at all. Um, let's move on then. This guy, anyone remember his name? Anyone at all? Anybody out there remember this guy's name at all? Well, actually, I know because I had to look it up. This guy's name is Shumpert. Shumpert. Yep. And uh, he was the governor's other guy. He had Merle, uh, this guy, and this guy. So I can't put him above T Dog. I'll have to put him after T-Dog. T-Dog. We saw way more of T-Dog. Do you remember anything Shumpert did? At all? I just remember him looking at the governor like he's fucking crazy after he shot up all those people, which, you know, rightfully so. Um, and I think Martinez at some point in season four said that he just died. He got eaten by zombies. So, I, I mean, T-Dog did too, but... T-Dog actually went out like a real man, saw it on screen and everything, saving a person. So yeah, I feel comfortable with that. Um, okay, last group here, the prisoner group. Uh, let's, let's start with the one that lived the longest, Axel. Average, or I guess he could almost be decent. Best thing he did was act as a meat shield for Carol. I'll put him there. He didn't really do anything else. I don't even know if he knows how to shoot a gun. Uh, this guy, he's average, or I mean, he was useful, he was useful, I mean, he died pretty quick, he only lasts for like a few episodes, um, you know, another, another big strong man to have around, uh, he helped Rick out, yep, that's all we can say about this guy, I think his name was Oscar, yeah, Oscar, um, big tiny, he could have probably been useful, He's a big dude, he probably has to eat a lot, he got bit, and then he got brutally murdered by his friend. So, I'll put Big Tiny... Man, is is Big... Would you rather have Big Tiny or Milton on your team? Big, big Tiny's intimidating, he's got the muscle factor, but Milton is smart. He probably knows a lot more, this guy's been in prison for god knows how long. In the zombie apocalypse, I'd probably rather have Milton on my team. Just because he's smart. This guy is... His name's Big Tiny. He's a big motherfucker. He probably needs to eat a lot. Um, yeah. I mean, he's strong, but... Yeah. Not much to say about Big Tiny. Alright, let's get to... Andrew. Which is the... The dude that ended up causing Lori to die. Which, I guess that's something cool he did. Um... But that also led to Rick being crazy, so it's not that cool. This guy, let's see. He was able to sabotage a whole prison group and cause a giant fucking... He caused a whole rigmarole. 
I mean, he caused the whole scene. Uh, you know, overwhelming the whole crew with zombies and shit. He probably ended up killing more people than the governor did. I mean, that's all we see. I mean, he got away from those zombies, too, that Rick, like, trapped him with. Honestly, fuck. This guy's hard to pin down. It's hard to tell with the guys you don't see too much of. I guess I'll put him here. I mean, he knows how to shoot a gun. He'd probably be last but not least, Tomas. Um, I mean, he'd be average. Who the fuck? I mean, I definitely wouldn't want him on my team. He's a fucking crazy lunatic. Tries to kill Rick and shit. Survives just long enough to get his. Survives just long enough to meet Rick and then get his fucking head caved in, so. Yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good with this list. Coral, he's not in dead weight, because he did at least kill somebody. <laughs> you know, at least someone he was trying to kill. Not like that time with Dale, but he actually aimed for this person. You know? So yeah, I mean, season three, boys. Feel good with this list. We'll keep going. Next time we'll do season four. I'll see you boys then. Peace out, and have a nasty night.